Hi there, and welcome to Day 7 of Spellbinder's Blog Frenzy for the CHA 2012 Winter Release. Today I'll be working with the new Romantic Rectangles die, so let's get started. Here I wanted to show you all four dies in the set and a close-up. Very versatile and very pretty. Here I cut and embossed all four dies from cardstock using the Grand Caliber, just so you could see how pretty it all comes out. After I cut and embossed the largest romantic rectangle die template shown in the previous picture, I measured white cardstock and cut it with my paper cutter for the center, then used the labels for small die to cut the center again as shown. Then I placed my cardstock on the floral and stone impressibilities die and ran it through the grand caliber. This way I could add some texture to my cardstock. Then I just set it aside for later. Here's another new die template designed by Donna Salzar and manufactured by Spellbinders called Bitty Blossoms. It's so cute and fun to work with. I cut and embossed the large and small blossom and all of the leaf dies that are shown in the previous picture with the Grand Caliber. I used the Distress Ink and a Q-tip to shade the straight edge of the circle as shown on both flowers. Now turn your flower over so the inked side is facing your embossing mat and mash down along the top edge of each flower petal. And repeat the same thing for the other flower. Now turn your flower over so the ink side is facing up again. And grab your quilling tool. Start rolling the flower from the outside edge to the center and pull it off the quilling tool and let it unwind. The cool thing is it will unwind itself just enough to look relaxed and very pretty. Place a 3D glue dot on the flower centers, making sure to press the bottom edges of the flower in it. Do the same thing for the other flower. The way I shaded the flower with the Distress Ink gives the flower a deeper shade in the center. You can use any color you want to. I use this color because it's the color in the image I'm going to use. And the reason I used the embossing mat on the wrong side of the flower was so I could roll the petals down as shown in this picture. Makes it much easier. Did you know that making this flower is my number one requested technique pretty much in every video I make? But I enjoy doing it. Using my Q-tip in the same distress ink, I shaded my leaves as shown. I wanted to leave some of the white showing through though, and when I was happy with what I had, I used my fingers and I shaped my leaves. I found this beautiful digital image online at the old design shop. After I printed the image, I placed the decorative front so the image was centered and lightly traced around it and cut her out. So let's put this all together and I'll be back in a few seconds. And that's it. You know I have more pictures to follow and I love sharing new dies with you. So be sure and check out my blog for all the blog frenzy details. So until next time, bye now.